French Minister of the Armed Forces Florence Parly visited in late July the French Defense Procurement Agency DGA Technique Hydrodynamic Site, an hydrodynamic test facility in Normandy. The DGA facility provides its expertise in hydrodynamic and hydroacoustic fields for accurate testing of surface and submarine vessel scale models. The facility comprises one of the most advanced hydrodynamic tunnel which can be pressurized. It is used to measure very low levels of radiated noise. It is also the site of the longest traction tank in Europe. The tank is 545 meters long, 15 meters wide with a depth of 7 meters. The basin is equipped with a towing carriage that runs on two rails on either side. Variables such as speed, sea state, proper thrust and torque, rudder angle, etc. can be accurately controlled. The sea keeping of the hull form can then be precisely tested. The facility is also home of an advanced calculator center for digital simulations. In this site, similar to the US Navy Naval Surface Warfare Center, Calderock, DGA engineers are conducting controlled tests in a large water tank with a computerized wave generator that can simulate ocean motions. During the visit, which Navy recognition was covering, we could witness an hydrodynamic test of an FTI frigate scale model, the next generation of surface combatant currently being developed by Naval Group, formerly DCNS, and the DGA for the French Navy. The first of the five frigates should be delivered in 2023. The FTI will have a displacement of about 4200 tons with a crew of 125 sailors. It will be capable of anti-submarine warfare, anti-air warfare, anti-surface warfare, as well as the support of special forces missions. During the demonstration, a DGA engineer told us that two hull designs are still being considered and tested. One with an inverted bow, as you can see in the footage, and the other one with a traditional bow. Inverted bows maximize the length of waterline and therefore the hull speed. They also usually have better hydrodynamic drag than ordinary bows. On the other hand, they have very little reserve buoyancy and tend to dive under waves instead of piercing or going over them. The scale model is fitted with sensors to measure the forces that affect the vessel in adverse weather and help determine ship stability in waves of various sizes and periods. Other scale models on display during our visit included virtually the entire French Navy fleet, such as several models of the Barracuda SSN, the next generation of nuclear-powered attack submarines, the Mistral-class LHD, the Frame Frigate, the second aircraft carrier PA-2CVF, the existing Ruby class of SSN, the Redoutable class of SSBN, the first generation of French ballistic missile submarines, the Triomphant class, the second generation of French SSBN, This particular model of Barracuda is used to test the submarine during diving and surfacing phases, as well as emergency blow. This submarine bow section is used to test the launch of torpedoes from Barracuda class SSNs and the future third generation of SSBNs. We were also shown a non-French design. This is a model of Royal Navy Astute class SSN. Since the Lancaster House treaties of 2010, the UK and France are cooperating in submarine technologies and systems among other areas. During her visit, the French Minister of Armed Forces said that France will continue to assist the United Kingdom for the hydrodynamic tests of the successor SSBN program. The cooperation is mutually beneficial because France's future SSBN will be tested at a maneuvering tank in the UK.